Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And friends, we've been in a internet blackout our entire area here where we live at here in Orlando. Very strange situation going on. Uh, we were blacked out when we got up this morning. Uh, some nine hours later, still no word, no word of recovery when internet will actually work. Uh, I'm actually right now using a hotspot off the phone to get a little bit of an idea uh, so we could share with you guys what is actually going on. Uh, Israel, of course, is uh, conducting heavy airstrikes on Gaza, but that, of course, is in retaliation for some 100 plus rockets that Hamas has fired into Israel since yesterday. Uh, in fact, when the very first rockets went off, we were trying to upload a broadcast, even from our uh, cell phone, and could not do it. It just, nothing would allow us to actually get you the information of what was breaking there in Israel. Uh, and of course, now, uh, the, using a hotspot on a cell phone to try to show you guys what's happening uh, is just definitely not the best way to be able to uh, share that information there. The videos are definitely sketchy there. You can see some of the images here. Militants in Gaza have opened fire towards Israel, prompting a series of raids against targets in Gaza. Uh, Israel officials have, Israeli officials have said there. And uh, again, though, like I said, Hamas has fired 100 rockets. Uh, and then there's been a truce uh, that came out. This came out just moments ago. And, uh, of course, Hamas already breaking that truce, firing even more rockets, you know. Well, I suppose they just can't get the word out to their people to stop firing these rockets inside of uh, Israeli territory. But Israel, as you can see by the video footage there uh, that they have released, they are definitely pounding Hamas severely. And uh, I don't know, I know that when the 17 rockets came in yesterday, five of those were intercepted by Israeli Defense Forces there, uh, by the Iron Dome uh, and the different systems that Israel is using. Uh, the others hit in uh, civilian areas, but no casualties or deaths were reported. Uh, at, at this particular point right now, I am still not fully aware of, uh, you know, if there's any casualties on the Israeli side what casualties there may be on the uh, on the side of the Palestinians. I do know that yesterday there was a 15-year-old boy that was shot and killed by Israeli forces. Uh, according to the Gaza media, there is a video about that showing the very moment that the uh, young man was shot and killed. Uh, but as far as what sparked it, what was the reason behind it? Why did Hamas start launching these rockets into Israel? Uh, I'm not quite sure about that. I know that Israel had begun the blockade, uh, complete blockade, which the last remaining border crossing was being shut down right before this happened yesterday. Uh, anyway, we're going to try to get, get you caught up on things as soon as we get some internet going here and also working on a teaching as well for Shabbat. Uh, but if you can tell by the shaky camera, I'm holding it with one hand while we're filming and uh, trying to manipulate the computer with the left hand. I'm Steve Benoon. In a world of Ain Shalom, there is no peace in Israel. Erev Tov.